Hey guys, it's your girl Queen P, and we're back at it again with Air Show. And we're gonna be playing Sailor Drops, of course. <clears throat> I wanted to play Blade Frontier, but I don't know if that game is gonna work. I like good stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys can hear the gaming sound. If you can, if you can't, I'm sorry. Oh, please stop it. All oh, this stuff. Stop it, Twitter. Got all that stuff. I'm gonna head over to the events and do the Moon Princess one. So I just did like six. I did a uh, stage six. But I need to go back and so I can um so I can um get my shiz. Get more stars. And then let's go to sleep. Defeat the enemy and target scores by thousand. Oh, bitch. You know, I I would love to like do more screen recordings and stuff like that of this game like on like on a computer and stuff like that but um when i downloaded lonely screen or whatever it somewhat didn't like act right so i don't know i got my first door and i might do like a story time on my other channel say the p channel because I've been, I've been like aggravated all day because I'm trying to, I'm trying to reach this company, um, where I do like these little animations on and like, I just had enough of the people on there and stuff like that. And so one of the workers, like I tried to contact one of the workers on his YouTube channel and he was like, well, this is my private YouTube channel, so I can't help you out. So I'm like, okay. And, um... And I've just been searching all day. Like, I've been... Oh, snap. I lost... I would give up. Okay, let's, let's go back. Let's go back and we try this again. I'm sitting here talking. And I forgot all of, all of my moves. Oh yeah, 30 moves up in the stage. Oh shit. I gotta be fucking careful. Um, yeah, back to what I was saying. You know, I've been trying all day to contact this. Um, try to contact this company so I can get off their site or whatever. So they can, like, delete my account and all this stuff. And they have not returned, like any of my emails and stuff like that and I hate that I hate when people be having these big large companies or whatever and they say don't hesitate to contact us but then when you contact them it's like crickets they like 
you like answer like one or two emails and then after that it's like nothing else you know what I mean it's like you know if you're gonna have a company or whatever you should be having people like on deck all the time because there's going to be people that's going to ask you stuff like all the time I hate that it's like what's the point of you having a company and telling them to contact you and you're not going to even respond back when they need your help and like I'm really like I really want to get off this app because it's like I don't I, don't, I just don't like the people that's on there because it's always somebody causing trouble all the time and then for some reason they come back they they come back and they do the same stuff over and over again and you know and this is and this is how i got onto their plan or whatever they they claim to have autism right and they say you can't go against autism people and then on top of that they say oh they're new to the software so They'll comment, like, see, here's the thing. They'll comment on one of your things, right? They comment on one of your videos and stuff like that. And then when you, when you, um, put your foot down with them, they're like, hey, stop bullying me. And then they want to go off and tell and want to cry bully. Like, why would anyone want to bully you if you haven't started? You know what I mean? And then want to say... I'm new to the website, so you can't bully me. It doesn't make any sense. And it's like, I don't, don't want to deal with that stuff anymore. Like, I thought I could, you know what I mean? But then I'm like, mm mm. This ain't cool. And I've been trying to contact them all day so they can help me, like, delete my account. Because every time I go into my account, with face with Facebook and stuff like that, it's like oops, we're sorry to tell you, you know, something went wrong and it must be the office people or whatever and we'll get back to you. And so I'm like, okay, is there something going on or what is it? Like if you're gonna have a software like that, if you're gonna have an animation software or whatever, or any type of software or any type of company, you should always let people know like their latest updates and stuff like that. If there's something going on or whatever with your server and stuff like that, you should always let people know what's going on. You should always have that person on deck to let them know that you know there's something wrong with your software. Oh, and I lost again. I keep losing. <laughs> well, good thing I got, like, tons of hearts. Okay, we're gonna do this, like, one more time, y'all. At least I've... At least I've been, um... Defeating my high score. Like, let's use one of these. Oh, no. I don't want that. Um, let's get this one. That didn't work. Oh, and if you guys hear loud and obnoxious sounds, like in the background or whatever, it's my noisy neighbor who's been noisy for four years now and don't plan on stop being noisy. It's one of the reasons why I left Chicago because it's like, you know, you have a family of seven now. You have a family of seven. The father doesn't work. The mother doesn't care. And then you got all the kids. And it's like... And it's like ever since they've been here, it's just loud noise after loud noise. And they don't plan on stopping. Ever. I think they're going into... Like, after everybody... You know, leaves the apartment building, they're gonna be the only ones left. Because it's morning, noon, and night. All the time. Mexican music all the time. Blasting. All the time. Seven days a week. And I mean seven days a week, I mean even on weekends. There is no break. None. No break. Now, one day do they miss having music time. All the time. Not one day. 
And it's like, it's totally ridiculous. Oh, I keep losing. Okay. Huh. Well, let's see if we, if we can go on another game. Let's try to go on Brave Frontier. Hopefully, Brave Frontier won't take long to upload. Because I haven't been on Brave Frontier in a long time. Oh man. Okay, here we go. It's a black screen. Oh man. Oh. Now you don't upload. Okay, let's touch the screen. Nice background. I mean, you guys probably won't be able to hear the game sound. Connecting, connecting. Well, while the game is connecting. But yeah, I've been over here in Chicago my entire life. And I moved to Melrose Park when I was like 15, going on 16. And we had noisy neighbors before, noisy black family that was above us but then they moved and then here come these mexicanos and they have a pattern okay this is how you know that they are up to no good if you have a pattern of acting a fool see when they first got here it was start music in the morning like early morning for a couple of hours stop and then wait until one o'clock to the afternoon like to like four o'clock stop and then 5 o'clock to whenever the time they go to bed and then stop. That was their first pattern of blasting music all the time. Morning, couple of hours, stop. Afternoon, couple of hours, stop. Evening, couple of hours, stop. It was, it was like that all the time, every day. And you know... I went to school, my little sister went to school, and my mama had to go to work, and it was like, no. And I used to come home from school first, you know, high school kids, stuff like that, and I had no school activities and stuff like that. And so I used to, like, bang on the ceiling and be like, look, this is enough. Enough now. Like, you do this all, like, you do this all the time. All the time. And it's like... And it's like, they would, like, bang back and be like, you know, like, shut up and stuff like that. Like, no. Like, you are disturbing other people. Okay, this game is connecting slowly. I don't know why, you guys. I'm sorry. But at least we can get to talk a little bit. Um. But, yeah. Um. There was this, they had this pattern. And whatnot, and I, I didn't I do it. I uh. -uh. <laughs> and then when I went to college, or whatever. Now here's here's how you know that this relationship is like toxic, because you know when I went to college or whatever, I had like a couple of classes. I did my requirement classes first, and you know, uh, my required classes were like two hours and stuff like that so when I would come home like around like 12 or whatever you know it'll be like two o'clock and the mom gets home because of that he doesn't work and still doesn't work and um they would get home or whatever she would get home right not even like a hello or hey babe or nothing like that she goes in the mm -hmm. bathroom uses it because they don't, they don't make nothing, they don't make nothing, like, quiet. You'll hear everything. <laughs> Even them talking, like, in Spanish and stuff like that. And, you know, when you say hello in Spanish, you say hola, you know, and all that stuff. Not even a hello, not even, like, ten minute 
and to come into the house. She goes to the bathroom. The, the wife or the girlfriend will go into the bathroom, pee, and then come in the room, and they will have sex at 2 o'clock all the time. All the time. And so I stopped that pattern. I stopped that pattern by banging on the ceiling again and was like, no, you no, you are not going to be banging when y'all always blasting this music having these kids run around and stuff all the time absolutely not and so i'm like i i don't care i don't care if you're horny and they and they did it all the time they did it all the time so i broke that pattern and so all the while, you know, I was here in Chicago and stuff like that he's been like trying to like sneak in and try to like blast his music every time and I'm like nope nope no way no way every time I want to get home I bang on the ceiling nope because his music was too loud I mean I understand if you like to play music and stuff like that and you you know and you you know you want to like have fun in your house and stuff like that while you by yourself but at the same time not everybody you know goes to work in the morning like some people went to work at night and they want you know to have some type of sleep during the daytime because you know that you know other people are going to get up and go to work and stuff like that and you can't you can't really help that but if you're by yourself and you don't got no job and the only thing you do is drink because oh my god he the the husband smelled like beer like awfully disgusting I know I'm supposed to be doing a gameplay, but yeah, I'm still talking to you guys. But, um, yeah, anyway, the husband is like, ugh, like he used to smell like beer like all the time. And it's like, you have no type of sympathy for your neighbors at all. Like, are you serious right now? Like, some people work at night and they would love to get some sleep during the daytime. You know, while everybody is gone. But here you is blasting your music to sky high to where you like, where you think it's like, you know how people be bumping their music when they're coming down the street? You be thinking like somebody is coming down the street bumping their music, but it's in the house. That's how high he goes when it comes to his music all the time. And what make it so bad, the little boy that they have, like he's kind of like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, like, slow, slow, but he's, like, you know, he's, he's got, he's kind of, like, up there, but he's not, like, slow, slow. And it got to that point where the little boy started to do it, too. He used to go running back and forth, turning up the music all the time, and then someone would come behind him and turn it down a little bit. But the thing of it is, though, it's so sad to where your little boy mm -hmm. is doing the exact same thing that you're doing. And then, on top of that, here comes your little girl, who's a year old now. And not even before this little girl could even crawl or walk. This, I mean, she never had a decent nap whenever they would come in the house because they would blast that music ever since she was born. Ever since she was born, ever since that first day she came home, blasting music all the time. And the baby would cry and cry and cry and stuff like that. And they never not once turn it down. And then when the baby, you know, cries at night, you know, babies cry at night and you know, want their diaper change or hungry or whatever. He would get upset and be like grunting and stuff like that. Like, dude, this is a baby. You, I mean... You kind of set yourself up for that. And plus, you old as dirt. Like, they will be, like, in their early 40s. I would say late 30s, early 40s. So, you're old, first of all. And now you're going to want to grunt and stuff like that. Because you have a baby now. That's your fault, bruh. That is your fault. And I remember, I'll never forget. I remember this one time. Where the baby was in the dining room. Because that's where their music comes from. The dining room. And the baby, like I said, the baby wasn't even a month old. Tell me why. 
they blasted that music right up in her ear. Because I know she was sitting right there. Because she started crying really, really bad. When, she, when he turned up that radio and blasted it, that baby started crying super hard. And I wanted to go up there and just be like, are you kidding me? Are you really kidding me? You really going to do this to your daughter? And they did and the thing of it is though, they didn't stop. I yelled up there. I'm like, y'all ought to be ashamed of y'all self scaring that baby like that. And y'all continue to do that. Because they continued. They didn't care about that baby crying. They didn't they didn't turn it down because she was crying. That baby was hollering loud and I don't know why. I know that baby heart must have been beaten out of her chest. And I'm just like, you guys are horrible. You don't deserve kids at all. All of them is messed up. All of them. Because the big girl, the oldest girl, she looking at this dude that's across the way who smoke or whatever. Twice her age and stuff like that. She trying to talk to him and stuff like that. And he looking like, uh, girl, <laughs> this is statutory rape and I'm not going to be talking to you. Like, he would, like, talk to her or whatever, but it was like, you're like, yeah, no. Like, hey, how you doing? And stuff like that. She'll be all promiscuous with it, trying to look cute and stuff like that. And she a heavy set girl. So she be trying to look cute, you know, trying to flirt. And he just be like, girl, no. And then on top of that, she has he has a wife. So it's like, girl, no. Like, he, he talks to her to be, like, polite and whatever. But then after a while, he just be like, girl, no, I don't have time for you. <laughs> and you know why she attracted to that type of stuff? Because that's all she knows. That's all she knows. She don't got a good role model and stuff like that. And I'm, I mean, I don't got no good daddy role model either. So I know what it's like, you know, to not have that father figure and stuff like that. So... Yeah, I know I'm supposed to be doing a gameplay and stuff like that. And I did for a little while, but I've just been so irritated and trying to contact these people. And it's like, bleh. So, I know. I know I'm supposed to be doing a gameplay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. But at least enjoy our time talking. And as always, Queen Peace says, like and subscribe. Bye.